Now, there's still a lot of contention regarding the VAT Bill 2013, but now the government has received what appears to be crucial backing on this very contentious bill from Kenya's accountants. The Institute of Certified Public Accountants has backed the bill, saying that the 16% flat rate will actually make it easier for businessmen to comply with the law in paying their taxes. Chairman Benson Okundi has also asked the public to look at the bigger picture, saying that while they feel the pinch of higher prices, the increased revenue for government will enable better service delivery on the long term. Now, ICPAC has, however, challenged KRA to crack down on unscrupulous businessmen who have taken advantage of the new law to exploit consumers. A number of items that were either initially exempt or zero rated were quite many and therefore consumed each and every person's time in trying to verify for, the, for any application for those exempt and zero-rated items. But the current VAT Act reduces them to bare minimum, which makes it administratively easier to be able to comply with the law and also will deal with the issue of the VAT refund. So I would recommend strongly that as much as uh, the political side of it is being looked at, and that is the, 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 the popular angle with the normal citizens, we should look at that, but we should consider the bigger picture of this, of, of this act. We applaud the architects of this act for making it shorter, well constructed, and much easier to administer and comply with. Indeed, the architects of the act do, do need to, to be complemented for this. It brings our law into the 21st century by addressing the needs of current business practices. We also understand the pain, the burden, and the anguish experienced by Kenyans as a result of traders increasing prices on zero-rated consumer commodities under the guise of 16% VAT. We at ISPAC are appalled by this development and would like to urge all stakeholders to apply VAT Act 2013 honestly and within the realm of good business practices. VAT Act should not be used as a conduit for enriching fraudulent traders and businessmen and women. The KRA must take up the challenge by the Cabinet Secretary, National Treasury to deal with the unscrupulous traders ought to enrich themselves at the expense of the consumers.